Previously on They See Me Rollin'. I play Maze, the corn wizard. My character's name is Scarecrow. In his broom hand, he's holding a gun. He's Maze, the corn wizard's ex-husband. My character is Reginald D. Crosby. A crow man with a bowler hat. So you have a crow man and a scarecrow? <laughs> and a corn wizard. <laughs> They're yeah. my parents. They found I'm me. I'm very proud of him. My character is named Rebecca, and she is an 18 year old, also a wizard. <laughs> what if you're their son's babysitter? Okay. A mob of ninjas attacks. They're coming out for all of you. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. It's, it's a large mob. <laughs> Twenty-two. Twelve. Fifteen. I rolled a ten. <laughs> Colin, uh, I rolled a six, so the ninjas are going to go last. However, before combat starts, the ninjas reach behind their backs and pull swords, but the swords are bright red laser swords. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck you. Heated <laughs> weapons. <laughs> Is what those are. All right. It does an extra 1d6, let's call it, heat damage. I take my bowler cap and kind of put it up like I'm a tough guy and mm-hmm. roll up my sleeves. Um, how many ninja are, like, in like in my immediate, like, can I, can I punch? Let me picture this. You're behind Ryan. Okay. You were standing in the doorway. Ryan walked through the doorway. Okay. So all the ninjas are swarming around Rebecca and Scare. Okay. I want to punch a ninja. Okay. Um, with with uh, I'm doing an unarmed strike because I'm a way of the open palm or whatever. Okay, so I take it you run up and join your your compatriots yes. and start fighting ninjas. Yes. You're not just throwing a punch from behind everybody. No. <laughs> at the air. No, no. I, I run up. I run up to to the ninja, kind of like guess like closest to Rebecca, and I punch it. Okay. Roll your attack, please. Plus two, so I rolled a 19, so 21. Okay, yeah, that definitely hits. Five damage. With a mighty swing of your arm, you land a hit on the uh, the ninjas in front of you, and <laughs> it sends the ninja flying back, and uh, he literally, like, bursts through four other ninjas <laughs> behind him before he bursts against a wall. Like a, like a, like a water balloon. Um, Filled with guts. All right. I can now make an extra unarmed strike. <laughs> um, so I guess I punch the next nearest ninja. Okay. So 16. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> uh, and four damage. So again, uh, four of these ninjas in front of you just explode <laughs> like Fist of the North Star. <laughs> Fist of the Crow Star. <laughs> <laughs> Hayden, uh, I uh, I look at this uh, triage of ninja in front of me, and I cast gust of corn. <laughs> the air feel, fills with corn kernels, causing each of the ninja uh, within uh, a sixty foot area to have to succeed on a strength saving throw or be pushed away by my fifteen feet by my uh, barrage of corn. Do the corn kernels near the laser swords become popcorn? Yes. They have to. Yes, as they... They have to. 13. I don't think that's enough. That is not enough, sir. Oh, also, uh, any creature within the thing uh, must spend two feet of movement for every one foot it moves when uh, moving closer to me. What was the... uh, I'm sorry. What was the result of that gust Gust of of corn? Was it Uh, damage? There's no damage. They're just pushed 15 feet away from me, and they're slower now. Because the air is filled with corn. (laughs) Behind the other three, the ninjas all get pushed back. And let's just say that they all fly back like they got punched by Goku or something. Like, they all just soar backwards. Uh, But no damage is done. And then up next is Ivan, I think? Yeah. Yes, Ivan. So I'm not in melee range of any of these guys? Uh, Not now, no. Okay. I shoot... 
an arrow. I mean, just kidding. I shoot my gun. In game <laughs> terms, it's an arrow. Um, <laughs> uh, right at one of the ninjas. Let's just say a group of the ninjas. And, yeah, uh, a group of ninjas. A big roll bunch that of ninjas. Up. 15. That's a hit. All right, roll your uh, damage. I am using the ability Bursting Arrow, which means gun. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. It's a sh- scatter shot. The target and each creature within 10 feet of it also take 2d6 force damage. 8 plus 9 to the one that I actually hit, and uh, 9 to everyone else within 10 feet. Let's just say you wiped out two of these packs of ninjas uh, with that blast. Just boosh, gone. Do you want to describe <laughs> to me what that looked like? Um, I flipped a little switch in my uh, on the side of my gun. Mm-hmm. And uh, when it fired, it was like a uh, a big explosion out of the front of my gun of uh-huh. um whatever you call it when a shotgun shoots a bunch of little things kills a lot of ninjas it did in fact kill a lot of ninjas so just so that we're all on the same page that's two gone colin you took care of two and there's two packs ahead of you a whiff of grape shot and it's their turn motherfuckers <laughs> i'm gonna roll them both <laughs> separate me? oh shit i'm sorry <laughs> I uh, role-played my spell choices, so I can't do like shit to anybody. <laughs> so I am going to... I, am I 15 feet away from one of the groups as well? Yeah, the two groups are 15 feet away from everybody. Okay, I'm going to walk up to one of the groups very casually, and I'm going to hold my hands out and try to grab, I guess, the first one and cast Shocking Grasp. But since it's like groups, we'll do something cool where I'm like hugging them all or something. <laughs> Just say that they're all packed so tight together that it shocks everyone. <laughs> they're all holding hands. That's a nat 20. Okay. But I don't, spells don't crit, so whatever. What's the damage on that thing? Uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh. Never mind all your cool shit. You reach out and grab one of these and it falls apart in your hands. Okay, but uh, they can't react until the start of their next turn, which is right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna roll them. I'm gonna roll two separate groups. The first pack of ninjas are going to run up on Reginald. They're gonna do multi attack, which means we're gonna do two melee weapon attacks. Both of those were 18. Do either of them hit? Both of them hit. Although I can spend one key point to take the dodge action. Uh, wait, no. Actually, never mind. I can't do that because I should have done that before. So, yes, both hit. Four piercing damage plus three fire damage or, or laser damage. Okay. That's per attack. All right. Is that for both of the attacks or just yes. one of the attacks? Yeah, it's a multi-attack, so he hit you twice. I'm at, I'm at zero hit points. Oh, come on. Oh, well. The <laughs> second group of skeletons. Who's got the least amount of hit points? <laughs> <'Cause if we're laughs> telling you that. Uh, the second... Who's still in front of me? It was... Or who's still in front? Ivan. We're going to attack Ivan. Well, I did run up to a group. Eh, they don't care about you. They're going after Ivan. They're ninjas. because I did one damage? <laughs> they don't see you as a threat. And uh, Ivan, they're going to multi-attack, uh, multi-attack as well. Uh, one is an eight, and one is a two. Neither? All right. So my skeletons are, are dum-dums that... Skeletons, excuse me. My ninjas are dum-dums. They, they try to, like, jump at you, and you just matrix out of their way. It's pretty rad. I think that takes it back around to Colin. All right. Uh, I currently have zero... <laughs> HP? Mm-hmm. You should be better at this. Uh, you know, rolling dice is really hard. I I let out a cry of caca, remember me, father? Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of the D&D rolling system, so I'm basically just going to leave you there unconscious. Yep. 
I'm debating turning your body invisible so I don't have to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst babysitter. Or the best babysitter. Legal guardian. There are no laws here in the labyrinth. <laughs> in anime cyberpunk, there are no laws. Yeah. None of this would have happened if we'd gone to Dildo World. <laughs> I'm terrified to imagine what would have happened if we had gone to Dildo World. Uh, a place of dreams and possibilities. Hayden, I believe you're next. Oh, okay. Let's knock this thing out. Oh, wait, real quick, before I forget this. When Reginald went down, the minor illusion wore off, so he got hit and just really dirty and crumpled <laughs> <in> the ground. <laughs> All right. Okay, I, I see my, my beautiful crow son go down, and I turn to the ninjas with tears in my eyes. They say, you better stand back, because I don't know if I can control this! And I cast Cornball. Corn troll this. I cast Cornball. Okay. <laughs> Tell me what that does, please. A bright streak flashes from my extended finger as I point to uh, if as I point to a point within range, and then blossoms with a low roar into an explosion of corn. Each creature in a 20-foot radius sphere centered on that point must make a dexterity saving throw. Balls of corn. So it's popcorn. Yes. 20. Well, they're going to take half damage. Okay. 32. 32? Okay. <laughs> Everybody explodes. <laughs> so, uh, yep, that's it. Inside the building, you can now see it's like a ninja dojo. There's well, can some we ninja... stabilize uh, Reginald that's before up to we you. Like, explore? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna try, I You're guess. You're the babysitter, you figure it out. How are we... <laughs> are we Jesus. rolling, what, a medicine check? Yeah, sure. Like, 12. Uh, we, you, <laughs> he he died on your watch, you bring him back. Oh, no, we're not bringing him back. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a 12, does he do anything, or is he just dead? No, I don't want to make this a he falls over and dies thing, to be perfectly <laughs> frank. So yeah, you did it! Yay! Whoa! Baby Shit. boys, back in business. Close call, though, for real. My my cross up. Ten. All right. No, what did you roll? You rolled twelve. We'll yeah. call it twelve. All right. I like that. Cool. So, uh, are we going to investigate this building, or do you guys want to move on to the to somewhere else? Rebecca wants to move on. Let's get going. Okay. I fo I follow my babysitter and my parents. So you can go to the north to the tower, uh, or the west, or excuse me, the east to the smaller two-story building. Let's go to the tower. Yeah. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> we know how these things work. <laughs> <laughs> so just to, to clarify, the tower is uh, five stories tall. It looks like a little skyscraper. It's not like a wizard's tower. It is metal and glass. Uh, I cast magic missile at it. Okay. Just roll that up for me. Uh, 13. So, uh, what were you even rolling for? I don't remember now. Magic, magic missile. I cast magic mil missile at the building. Okay, good. Yeah, no, you wasted another magic missile by shooting it at a wall. Yeah, that's <laughs> two level one spell slots. <laughs> I don't care. I'll cast <laughs> Shooting <more>. walls. <laughs> Um, All right. This, so there's this no looks like a, 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 a an office building, really, like a, a short little office building. It's got shiny double doors out front and uh, steps leading up to it. Little brass handrails. I hop up the steps. Okay. I'm following. I follow as well. It's it's big and it's shiny, so I like it. I check the handrails for porn. I don't find any, so I continue inside. So everybody's in the building. Yes. Yeah. It is pitch dark, so what are we doing now? Somebody has do dark it. vision. I, I'm aware. <laughs> well, I, I do too. It's no big deal. Oh, really? Um, prestidigitation yeah. can do light stuff, right? Um, I don't think you can use it to illuminate things so you can see. Am I smart enough to know what darkness is? Probably not. <laughs> you probably think it's a big crow. <laughs> Does anybody have a candle or a torch? I could light it with a spell. <laughs> oh, wait. I, I dig around in my picnic basket and pull out a torch. <laughs> That's okay, very nice. Okay, and I use prestidigitation to light it. Cool. So you guys have a torch. I hold it like it's a flashlight. <laughs> Do we see anything? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, there's doors off to the left and right. It's, uh, you know, nice marble floors, uh, some elevators. 
You do see some light switches and other things that you might consider playing around with. I turn on the light. Almost magically, the entire, not just the light, the entire building powers up. Okay, cool. Hey. There's lots of, like, <laughs> machine noises. Lights are all on. You can hear the elevator running. You can hear the motorcycles you know, water coolers, in the background. The motorcycles <laughs> in the background. And you see just dozens of little workspaces that all look almost the exact same. Uh, and then there is, you know, the, the elevators as well. So what are we going to do now? Oh, uh, I wait a minute. Do you hear that? That's <laughs> <Got it up! laughs> weird. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I go to the uh, elevator doors or whatever. Um, okay, are you guys going to... Do you all want to take the elevator? Uh, I look for the stairs. Stairs are actually not visible. All right, then I get in the elevator. And are you going up to the what floor? Where are you going? I hit the top, top floor. Button. The absolute top? Okay. You ride the elevator up to the top floor, and when you get up there, the, ele- the elevator stops, but the doors don't open until one of you notices a little key hanging out of a little keyhole on the door. And twists it, and then the door pops open. You've you've reached some sort of huge private suite, office suite. So do you That's guys want to special poke around, or what do we want to do? Yes. Uh, Is there corn in here? Could be. <laughs> oh, I t- I'll roll an investigation check and start snooping around, and I got a fifteen. I roll an Arcorna check. I take the corn that I had in the picnic basket out and start eating it. Twenty. Uh, Sorry, uh, 17 on my R corner check. Uh, you don't sense any magic. Do I sense and, any corn? Uh, no. And so Ryan... My f- yeah, my 15 on the investigation. On the I'm investigation. Uh, it's all lit up, and you can see... It looks like there has been somebody here very recently. There's, you know, one desk has got a light on, and you can see papers scattered around. It seems like there is one person potentially in the building. I just go ahead straight in. Yeah. You... <laughs> Hey, yo, anyone in here? Have you played Raw Danger for the PlayStation 2? (laughs) (laughs) My friend here asked you a question, have you? It's pretty cool. So what happens when we go in? You uh, You hear a toilet flush and a door open and a gigantic shark bear. Comes out of the bathroom. <laughs> yes. And the shark bear trips and stumbles and falls right onto Rebecca. <laughs> Fine. He kind of growls like in surprise. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, Rebecca I don't turns this. back to the parents and goes, Is this what love is? <laughs> no, it is, that is definitely not what love is. I Please, honey, don't. So what do you uh, want to do? Uh, I want to hit this bear in the face. Okay. I offer it some corn. It takes the corn. <laughs> Are we brothers now? It it bit it bites into the corn a little bit, but not for bear. <laughs> he hands it back to you. Friendly. He's friendly. He hands Are it back to you. Are we just in like free 17. actions right now? <laughs> We I have not asked for an initiative yeah, role. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what you guys are going to do. Okay. I assume you want to attack, but maybe you want to have a fucking conversation with him. Maybe you want to marry him. I don't know what you want to do. After he hands the corn back, I ask him if he's my brother now. <laughs> <laughs> I say, hi, Reginald D. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> You're my brother now. He looks, at you, he looks at you and tries to mumble the word Reginald <laughs> while pointing at himself. I shake my crow head. I go, Kaka, this is, this is our, I, I point to Scare and say, that's our dad. I point to him and say, that's our mom. And I, and I point to Rebecca and say, and she's our babysitter. Okay. I wave. And okay. I would like sh- to cast a spell. <laughs> the shark bear uh, gives you a look that says, it's just a sad look that says, it must be nice to have a family. <laughs> <laughs> I hug him. I want to whisper in his ear, and he needs to make a uh, he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Seventeen. Shit. <laughs> so I went to tell him a joke that was supposed to completely incapacitate him for a minute, having him sit. I cast Tasha's hideous laughter. But apparently my joke was not very good. It was bear themed, so I lean in and I said, so a polar bear walks into a bar and he says, oh, I'm not doing the voice. So a polar bear walks into a bar and he says, I'll have a Jack. 
and Coke. And the bartender goes, okay, here you go, but why the long pause? And the bear looks down and he says, I was born with them. <laughs> but the bear is unamused. No, Shark Bear <laughs> practically goes into a frenzy of rage. <laughs> brother, no! God, God, brother, no! <laughs> Reginald Crosby manages to calm Reginald Bear down. <laughs> Actually, his name is Reginald D. Bearsby. So what do you got? What do we want to do here? We've got a bear. You seem to be in some shark bear. You seem to be in some sort of communication with it. Do you want to attack it? Or where do you want to go from here? I roll, I, I, keep I, in I mind, you're still looking for the exit from this anime world. <laughs> um, I ask it if it knows where the exit to the anime world is. It growls and points <laughs> to a door. The bathroom door it just came out of. <laughs> Thanks. I walk through the bathroom you door. You want to come with us? He growls and shakes its head sadly, pointing at the paperwork on its desk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I... Rebecca walks over and starts reading the paperwork. <laughs> okay. Good job. What is I've it? already walked through the door. I, uh, yeah, I follow I, suit. I, I take off my bowler hat and hold it in both hands and look really sad and say, Caw, caw! I'll come, for, I'll come back for you, little brother. And and give him a piece of corn as a <laughs> promise. Uh, no, you won't, Edward Elric. <laughs> Reginald shits on the floor <laughs> like a bear. <laughs> but not like a shark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very different. <laughs> he did it with the power of a bear, but with the grace well, of a shark. It's, sh- it's shark-headed. It's bear-bodied. I should have made oh, that okay. clear. Bear-bodied. Oh, my. <laughs> um, well, I like me right now. Saw, <laughs> so, what kind of paperwork is it? Like, uh, like it's just like figures. Like... It's doing dividends for its, you know, for the corporation and doing some accounting. So it's just like I have no idea. Like it's just like generic business stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's business stuff. <laughs> okay, it's not ancient spells and runes. I cast invisible. Fucking retcon. It's ancient scrolls and runes. <laughs> Is that in this world, ancient scrolls and runes are like <laughs> paperwork? Like, yeah. Busy work. Uh, I say, no, I'm not going to be the one to fucking get this bear to come with us. That's bullshit. He's an asshole. So I go, okay, whatever. And I walk through the door too. Uh, with hat in hand, I somberly walk through the door. I leave with... Is that everybody? I, there's one last yeah. longing look with my brother before I leave. That's what the movie Brother Bear was about. <laughs> I have all of my shark bear stuff up to murder you with. <laughs> You're very lucky. He was very hard. He had a lot of hit points. <laughs> What's on the other side of the door? A toilet. <laughs> I flush the toilet. <laughs> I stand in the toilet before it gets flushed. The toilet starts to expand and expand and expand until it eventually swallows you all like a crazy Mario pipe. That's cool. And that's it. That's all we're going to do tonight, I guess. (laughs) I was going to do, I definitely was going to take us uh, to a few more places, but we fucked around too much. So we spent like 30 minutes in the bar. (laughs) <laughs> hey, you know what? I don't care. It was fun. So thank you guys so much for listening to Bullshit. If you've liked what you've heard, let us know in the Facebook group. You know, if you want to find Matt's show, check out Square Roots. And, Yay! Yeah. And I'm at Oops, I Talked Politics and Device of Issues. Both of those are on the Comrade Network, which you can find at ComradeRadio.com. And do you guys want to briefly go through... Uh, your stuff, all of y'all's shows. Yeah, you can find me at The Color of Friendship. <laughs> yeah, and uh, if you want me by myself with two other people, you can check me out on That Gay Shit. Okay. Cool. And I assume all those are iTunes and all that stuff. Yo. Yes. Please rate, review, and subscribe. Uh, Colin, did you have anything you wanted to plug at all? You can follow me on Twitter um, at kaiju underscore kaiju spelled K-Y-J-U-U uh, where you can see me Go to Denny's at 3 a.m. and uh, buy dumb comic book merch. <laughs> uh, at Denny's? I wish. <laughs> they, they have that now? <laughs> but I did buy an Angela action figure. Woo! I saw that. I saw you playing with that all night. <laughs> I love her. Caressing it gently. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of Labyrinth. 
<laughs> which uh, I hope you can tell is just a silly excuse for us to get together uh, and, and play. So uh, that's it. And thanks for listening. And I love you. Uh-huh. Everybody else? Everybody want to say bye? Bye. 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 I'm Dan Fogelston. <laughs> now that's a stupid way to start. <laughs> <laughs> All this is staying in. Are you going to do like a Twilight you, Zone thing? Can you, do, can you do seven of those and I'll just make that the outtakes? <laughs> <laughs> can I, 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 I don't. I would need to write something down if I was going to do a Twilight Zone introduction. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, a world of magic. Wait a and... I, Goblin. Imagine, wait, if you will, yeah, a wait. world without Stan Ferguson. Imagine. A world where Michael M. Raider is, in fact, the DM of They See Me Rolling. You are about to enter They See Me Rolling, but without Stan. Imagine, if you will, a world of, of assholes <laughs> who go on ventures. The only thing keeping them from completely destroying themselves and the and the narrative at hand is a fateful DM. Now imagine a world where that DM is no longer there. Join us, won't you? <laughs> you must remember them. <laughs> I, I uncrimp with a piece of paper, I write my number on it, I give it to her. Okay. Oh. <laughs> You're what what number? <laughs> my age. <laughs> <laughs> so she knows I'm a consenting adult and if we want to take this further it's cool is that traditional flirting in uh, tiefling society yes hang on is that the way you guys say it because I would definitely say hexagonal yeah me too uh, okay hexagonal there's a hexagonal <laughs> hole no I say I was just messing with you Michael I say hexagonal <laughs> 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 Sorry. Oh, rabbit talking to <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal. Like, you know, this movie is not going to age well. Like, really. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he says, just wait for the uh, sequel. I bet it will be better. <laughs> My sister is going to be great. Uh, not, not Maggie, but S. Darko. So just want to clear that up. <laughs>